As of yesterday, Washington, D.C.-based chef Jose Andres was still in Puerto Rico mobilizing volunteers and setting up kitchens to feed people in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria, which devastated the island late last month. Since arriving, the superhero chef and his disaster relief nonprofit World Central Kitchen have served over 350,000 meals. They are well on their way to their goal of feeding 100,000 people daily. Over the weekend, Andres and team traveled from World Central Kitchen's base in San Juan to farther flung areas in need of aid. World Central Kitchen's chef for Puerto Rico opened a kitchen in Farjado and served 9,000 people, one day ahead of schedule. This kitchen will continue to feed people in Farjado and nearby Culebra and Vieques for the next two weeks, Andres promised in a Twitter video. Despite bad weather, World Central Kitchen also dispatched a food truck to Naranjito and dropped off 400 meals in Vega Baja, where the flooding was 10 feet high, Andres said on Twitter. Earlier this weekend, volunteers went door-to-door -door with food in Corozal, Palmerio, and Guaraco. Andres says that World Central Kitchen will need to roll back operations soon, but the group is still activating kitchens around the perimeter of Puerto Rico and in the center of the island. We're going to do 200,000 meals a day no problem, Andres says in the video above. In an interview with News Is My Business, Puerto Rico's English-language news site, Andres also discussed Puerto Rico's long-term recovery, noting that bringing food from the outside in is not good news. Instead, the chef says, he would make sure that all the food is produced, cooked, and delivered by Puerto Ricans for Puerto Ricans. According to Andres, activating the private sector, not receiving outside government aid, is key. We cannot wait 60 days to activate the economy. The economy should be activated as we are bringing hope and food and help to people. That's the right way to do it. At Shea Jose Andres Twitter Jose Andres and World Central Kitchen have served 130,000 people in Puerto Rico. We